What's going on, y'all? Back again, back with another video. Hope y'all having a great day. Today, I want to get into how to pick the right instruments for your beat, man. So, it's a different type of video that I'm trying to do today. So, bear with me. Uh, I think it'll be helpful. I kind of thought about it and I was like, yeah, I think I want to do that. Show everybody, you know, my opinion on it. So, we're going to, like I said, we're going to go over how to pick the right instruments for your beats. And just a disclaimer, this is just like a general you know, like a general kind of guide. Of course, there's no rules and it doesn't say, oh, you have to pick this instrument for this type of beat or anything like that. It's just like a general guide. So, you know, for example, I'm gonna start with this one. When you're trying to make like triumphant triumphant beats, you know, uh, you know, you think of like a industry baby or, you know, we made it by Drake you know, those type of beats, that's when you want to grab trumpets. So trumpets will give you like that that uh, triumphant feel, you know, that overcoming something type of feel. So I think I got one pulled up right here, like SRX Brass would be a good one. Um, not really going to make a beat, just kind of go over the instruments for you. Trumpets. You know? Then you can even go back to what, like T.I. Rubber Band Man, you know, with David Banner, you know, trumpets. Trumpets is gonna give you like that overcoming feel, man. So uh, another is also good if you're trying to make a beat like for for like sports or something like that, like sports team, trying to make any type of beat, you know, like that. You know, it just depends on what what type of beat is for. You're trying to make a song, and that that'll be more like if you're getting into making songs for like soundtracks or something like that then, you know, you want to grab trumpets. But I think it's just a, a good thing to know. You know, that's like a go-to instrument when you want to make that, like, overcoming sound, that triumphant type of sound, or, you know, that big sound. So, you know, when you think of trumpets, you think of winning, you think of sports, you know, different things like that. So that's why I would say, you know, just come in this VST, go through the different sounds, you know, till you find the right one. No, you gotta find the right progression, but you know, you get the general tone of it, you know, so trumpets, you know, for that type of sound, right? So next, man, let's go ahead and get piano out the way. Uh, you know, pianos are going to be like for your trap beats. Pianos are really versatile, first of all. Let me start with that. So like I said, it's just a general rule of thumb. You could use a piano on any beat, but you know, um, pianos are going to be for like, they're good for trap beats, of course you know, trap, um, R&B, anything, man. Pianos are pretty much good for anything, but that's, uh, you know, a lot in hip hop. You're gonna be using it a lot when you do like trap or uh, R&B or something like that. Even you could do it, use it for like the Drake type sound, party next door sound, you know, pianos are pretty versatile. So definitely don't wanna put pianos in the box. Um, this is this SRX Piano One. It sounds good as well. So, you know, so. Piano sound great, man. They are uh, always good to start with. I have nothing really bad to say about piano, so, you know, like I say, mainly in hip-hop, you don't use them in a lot of trap and R&B, like when you're trying to do hard trap. Uh, also, like, moody, moody-type beats, so when you think of, you know, if you're trying to do, like, ride-wave-type beat, 
you might want to grab a piano, you know, uh, NBA young boy type beat, those type of things. Uh, also, you know, like I said, trap like Lil Baby, Lil Dirk. When you think of the type of beats, you know, that they do is always like a triplet sound, you know, and it's just, you know, whatever, you know, whatever it is. And it's just a piano, you know. So, pianos, good for the trap type beats. Uh, NBA Young Boy, Rod Wave, moody, emotional type beats. It's an emotional instrument, so like all of them, but uh, pianos are, are good overall, so that's what I got to say for pianos. Now, next thing, um, when you when you want to make like, a, once again, like the Drake party next door, the moody, atmospheric type of sound, the instrument that you want to grab are pads, so... I got expand pulled up because it's one of my favorite go-to VST for pads. Probably this and also a uh, analog lab. Uh, I like using the soft pads and you just you know. You know that real atmospheric moody R and B. You can also go to Nexus. Even in the old interview uh, 40 did, I remember, watched the interview a long time ago, but I always remember because it was when I was first starting off, didn't have many plugins. He was like, a lot of times he just used Expand because he, I think he was producing in Pro Tools at the time. He just used Expand because I think it comes with Pro Tools. And he was like, he just used Expand for the, you know, for most of his beats that he was making for Drake at the time for the, for the pads and the pianos, things like that. So uh, definitely use this VST. Nice lush sounds, you know. Nice lush sounds. So, so definitely, if you produce an R and B, you know, like Scissor, um, pretty much anything you could think think of. Like I said, Party Next Door, The Weekend, you know, artists like that. Man, you want to grab the pads. So, soft pads, bright pads. You know, you want to grab those. So, that's what I would use for those type of beats, man. So. Next, I got a guitar for y'all. So, guitar. Now, you can use a guitar for a lot of things. All these, like I say, once again, general rule of thumb, it's nothing set in stone. You can use a guitar on any beat. But a lot of times, I would say use it, of course, in trap beats. Um, if you're trying to produce like a gunner type beat, of course, um, even Young Thug, Free Young Thug. Um, who else? Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich. A lot of his beats use the guitar. So uh, this is a guitar I got pulled up. Ample guitar. Taylor uh, is from Ample Guitar. I like their guitars. Uh, they sound very realistic and dope to me. So let's play it for you right here. And of course, it's on the lows because I'm recording, right? Yeah, 
what I love guitars, man. It gives the beats the real, like, authentic sound, pianos and guitars. I love that type of sound in my beats. I mean, um, I like using real sounds for, for the most part, uh, more than, like, acoustic sounds for the most part. But, um, you know, you can use synths and things like that, too. But um, guitars, man, um, I think when you use acoustic sounds, they they make the artists kind of go to a different space to where they want to say more like uh i don't know if it's introspective or more real things like on your beats when you when you kind of use those real instruments like real stories and different things like that like if you think of a zaytoven you know when people rap on his beats there's a lot of reality you know in the music you know not just saying anything but you know a lot of reality in the music um so I like guitars for that, man. Also, if you want to create like a Spanish sound, Spain, any type of uh, Spanish music, you know, uh, you think of like Wild Thoughts, you know, you want to use like Spanish guitar, you know, this is good for that. So yeah, man, guitar. Gunner, Roddy Rich, you know, those type of beats, trap beats. Um, other artists too, I just can't think of everybody off the top of my head, but a lot of artists use a lot of guitar beats, but I love using guitars, man. So definitely check out Apple Guitar. I mean, you can get a guitar from Omnisphere. Um, they got them in Expand as well, Nexus. So I would say use those guitars, man. Let's see, next I have for y'all, like the Juno, right? Juno, um, Analog Lab, things like that pretty versatile it's pretty versatile so i can't really just say i can't really put it on one type of beat that you would want to use but i can tell you um like a lot of producers or you know the, the sound that i hear a lot that people that use those type of instruments right so when i think of analog lab you know rolling things like that I think of like mike dean um travis scott production kanye west production things like that they use a lot of old analog gear so you can hear A lot of nice warm sounds. We'll go through a few of them, you know. You can hear sounds very, you know, Travis Scottish, uh, you know, Kanye West. freestyling on a, on a uh, keyboard right here on the on the actual laptop so that's kind of what I do either that or use my MIDI controller kind of freestyling until I hear something that you know hear something that catches my ear and then I just kind of figure out how to replay what I just did in the freestyle and that's how I come up with a lot of my melodies for my beats so but yeah um Mike Dean use a lot of analog gear man so you're going for that Kanye West Travis Scott sound. You can also use Scorch, you know, by my best friend Jacob. Shout out him. That's a dope plug in, man. I got a lot of dope um, sounds for, especially like that Travis Scott, Kanye West type of production, man. I'm um, also the weekend, you know, use a lot of older synths, a lot of 80. If you're going for that 80 sound, of course, grab these old synths, Roland, um, you know, Korg, all that type of stuff. Um, analog lab i would grab that for those type of beats man so next i got just got a srx orchestra and i would just say i would use this you know if you're going for that zaytoven sound man if you're going to that zaytoven sound or just that authentic sound 
even just trap like Lil Dirk, you know, different things like that. Lil Baby, you don't use a lot of strings. A lot of strings, you know, stabs, um, horns, just, just, you know, the whole orchestra, violins. Violins is a lot of, uh, another thing that I like to use if I'm doing like a, like a little baby type beat or something like that. Let me see if I can find a violin in here. Flutes, of course, flutes as well. That's a harp and flute. Let's see if they have a violin. Let's check this trumpet out. So that's a dope emotional trumpet. Might have to come back to that actually. Oh, uh, let's see. Come on, no violin. I know it's a violin in here somewhere. Come on. Probably overlooked it. I've probably seen it before me. Definitely a lot of um, presets in here, though. Definitely a lot of presets in here. Double flute. Flute. Come on, where's the violin? See a viola. This might be a violin. So you could use that. You got mellow tape, oboe, cello, solo, viola. Violin is also one of those, uh, you know, like I said, every instrument is emotional to a sense. But violin, I feel like, is one of those instruments that can bring a lot of emotion into your beat. I would use definitely use those for little baby beats, little dirt um, trap beats. You could even use them in young boy beats. And uh, like I said, once again, this is just a general rule of thumb for for trying to pick the right instruments for your beats when you're when you're uh, trying to produce in a certain genre or subgenre or either for a certain artist. Trying to figure out like where to get started, what type of instruments to use. Uh, you know, if you're struggling with sound selection. That's kind of what this video is for, or who this video is for. So uh, that's all I got for y'all today, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, hit that like button for me to help me out. Hit that subscribe button. Dropping new content every day. I will see y'all in the next video, man. Until next time, signing out.